Well, the ballots are coming in earlier than usual in Oregon for the upcoming general election. And we're only 14 days away from now, two weeks from right now. That's right. Pretty wow. wild. And check out these numbers. They just came in tonight from the county's elections division. It shows a turnout percentage of 247 and that's compared to 11% in 2016 with the same number of days to go before Election Day. Oregon Attorney General Ellen Rosenblum also wants voters to know if you have any concerns about voting security or fraud, there's now a new hotline that you can call for help. And Fox 12's Sarah Hurwitz spoke with Rosenblum today. She has the story. We've heard a number of concerns from people saying they received duplicate ballots and how that makes them feel uneasy about their voting security. Oregon Attorney General Ellen Rosenblum and election officials say that it is extremely rare to have voting fraud here in the state of Oregon and the systems that we have in place make it extremely difficult to do that. Jeff Thorpe, a St. John's man, says he recently moved and got two ballots, one for his current address, the other for his former address. Too many things can go wrong, and that, that proves it right there. It's concerns like these that Oregon Attorney General Ellen Rosenblum says you can ask about on a new voter protection hotline that her office launched during this election season. You can get a quick answer from a, a real live person uh, within a short period of time, because the most important thing is we're so proud that we do have safe, reliable, secure elections here in Oregon. We are the easiest place to vote in the country. Election officials say Thorpe's situation is not unheard of when someone changes their registration near the deadline. As soon as we generate that replacement ballot, it automatically inactivates the previous ballot. But what happens if someone unknowingly casts the inactive ballot? Multnomah County Director of Elections Tim Scott says the ballot would then get kicked out of the sorting system because it was inactive and it would be reviewed after the election to see if it could be counted if the active ballot is never cast. Scott says that review process looks heavily at the signature on the ballot, which is compared to the most recent signature in the registration system. And Scott says every signature on every ballot is reviewed. We actually switched to using some software and it's the same software that the banking industry uses for signature verification. If it's not 100% match by the software, then we have trained staff who have been doing this for years who would look at that and compare handwriting characteristics between the two signatures based on training they've received in forensic handwriting analysis and make a decision. Rosenblum says if you cast two ballots, that's a crime. Just send in one ballot. If you send in more than one ballot, then yes, it will be um, evaluated for the possibility that it was intentional on your part, which would be fraud. And as we near the election, Rosenblum says her office is working with local law enforcement on plans with the possibility of protests following the outcome. We don't know uh, when there will be a result and we don't know what will be what process that will need to go through. Once there is um, an outcome, it may well be questioned. Uh, we hope not, it shouldn't be, but if it is, then it may have to go through the court system and it could take some time. We'll have that number for that voter protection hotline on our website, kptv.com. From the mobile newsroom, Sarah Hurwitz, Fox 12 Oregon. And you might be wondering what exactly happens to your ballot after you drop it off. We got a closer look at what comes next. Now, first, the ballots are picked up by officials, then they're verified by several different steps, making sure the signature matches what's on file so that your vote counts. The ballots are then sorted into trays and run through this machine. That's for verification. Marion County Clerk Bill Burgess explains that about 60% of ballot signatures are accepted at this point. The other 40% are given to election clerks to make sure the signature is genuine. First initial check, where they have to go pretty fast. And if they say no to one, then it goes to somebody else that does a, a more in-depth uh, check. And if your signature is rejected, you'll get a letter notifying you that there's an issue. You then have up until 14 days after the election to fix that, either by mail or going to the county clerk's office in person. As a reminder, both Oregon and Washington have online tools that you can use to make sure your vote is counted. You can find those ballot trackers on our website, kptv.com.